Coastal Processes This lesson will cover erosion, weathering, landscapes and defences. Coastal processes fall into either erosion, transportation or deposition. In this example, we can see how erosion breaks materials into smaller pieces. Transportation is the act of moving those materials to a new location. And deposition is when those materials lose velocity and transportation stops, resting the sediments where it lay. I made a video on this topic earlier. For more information, I would recommend that you view it. In essence, there are four ways of coastal erosion. Number one, solution, is when there is a chemical breakdown of the rocks. Number two, abrasion, is when the rocks rub against the surfaces to wear it away. Three, attrition, is when rocks collide and become smaller and smoother. And four, hydraulic action, is when air is forced into existing cracks, causing them to wedge open. In addition to erosion, coastal landscapes experience weathering. Weathering has two types, mechanical and chemical. Mechanical weathering is the process of breaking big rocks into little ones, whereas chemical weathering is when chemicals react with rocks and minerals to weaken those rocks. An example of mechanical weathering is freeze-thaw weathering. Existing cracks in rocks are filled with water in cool temperatures. That water is frozen in freezing temperatures and expands. And that process of freezing and thawing continues until the rock eventually breaks off into what's known as scree. An example of chemical weathering is hydrolysis. Some rocks react to water because of the minerals they contain. Minerals react with the acids in water, making their new chemical compounds, and those chemical compounds break down the rocks over time. For example, in granite there exists feldspar. When combined with water, they react to form clay, which is much weaker than granite, so this is a chemical weathering. Together, erosion and weathering create unique landforms. You can see some of these landforms in Botany Bay in Kent. Landforms like arches, caves, stacks and stumps. But how do they form? Essentially, waves cause weaknesses to form cracks at the base of a headland. Over time, the cracks become larger to form a cave. The cave gets bigger and cracks appear above the cave to the top of the headland. Eventually that weakens and the arch grows larger and eventually collapses, leaving a stack separated from the mainland. The stack continues to be eroded and becomes a stump. Here is a time-lapse GIF of this process. We can see that it starts with a weakness that eventually becomes a cave, which grows to become an arch, which grows to become a stack, and then eventually a stump. In the northeast, you'll find a place called Hornsey. Using Google's historical photographs, you can actually compare the coastline from 2003 with the coastline of 2020. This area, therefore, represents 17 years of erosion. But you'll notice, however, that the area on the right is unchanged throughout the last 17 years. Why? The answer is largely due to these hard engineering coastal defenses. This particular approach is called groins and protect against longshore drift. I took this video from the coast of Hearn Bay and it shows these groins working as expected. Longshore drift dictates the diagonal direction of a swash which drags and concentrates sediment along the coast. These groins are all along the coast and serve two functions. They trap sediment and absorb the power of the waves. You can see this quite clearly according to this picture. The diagonal direction is collecting those sediments, but it's being stopped by these groins. If you remove them, it will just continue to drag those sediments along. So groins work to trap sediment and absorb the power of these waves. Coastal defenses can either be hard or soft engineering. Hard engineering involves the use of man-made structures to reduce the erosive potential of waves, and soft engineering works with a natural environment to protect coastal areas. There are lots of different coastal management strategies, from seawalls, dune regeneration, 
groins, rock armor, sea walls, and beach nourishment and reprofiling. For more information, please visit these resources. Links will be in the description. And thank you for watching. Please support the channel by clicking subscribe. And if you'd like these resources, please visit my test store, link in the description.